okay so last time last time I choose I chose uh, consumption as a dependent variable and GDP and export were were independent variable but this time I shall choose GDP as a GDP as a dependent variable and the rest and the rest to such as cons and uh, ex, uh, export as independent variable. Okay, and now I shall run the vector error correction model. Why? Now I shall run the the VECM model. Why? Because all the three variables are co-integrated. Okay, then I proceed. Proceed like before. I go to quick. Then estimate var and I choose vector error correction model and this time GDP is the dependent variable and uh, and the cons and export are the independent variable right so th this is our model GDP cons and export so I press OK and, and 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 last time last time I chose lag two, so this time also lag two. Okay, so this is my model, right? This is my model, and this is the co co, co integrated model. And here, the first one actually our target model. The first one is our target model because the GDP is the dependent variable but the problem is that here is no p-value here is no p-value so to see the p-value I use system equation right so system equation meaning that so I go to proc, I go to proc and max system, order by variable, then okay, okay. And here you can see we have three model, uh, that is one is the D, D GDP, that is dependent variable, D cons is also dependent variable and DX also dependent variable. But the first one, the first model actually our target model because now the GDP is the dependent variable. And here, from here to here, uh, from here to here, uh, this one actually called the, the residual of the co-integrated model. This one is the residual of the co-integrated model or the co-integrated model uh, actually th this one is the co-integrated model and from this co-integrated model we can get the residual. From this co-integrated model we, we can get the residual also okay what I do I copy the whole model our uh, our model where the 
GDP is that dependent variable. I copy it and I go to quick estimate model, right? Then I paste our target model. So that is our model where GDP is that dependent variable. Then I press OK. And this is our outcome. Result has come up. Right. And here you can see the C1 and actually this one is the error correction term or the coefficient of the of the error correction model. C1 is the coefficient of the error correction model. And here what is happening C1 the coefficient is negative and also the probability is less than 5% meaning that C1 is significant. So here what is happening? The C1 that we are talking about the C1 why is our model? Sorry. Yes. Uh, yes. This model, sir. C one. Just one minute. I'm taking it. Uh, I'm taking it. Uh, 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 I'm making adjusting. Okay. One minute. Okay. Not this one. Not this one. Uh, it is here, I guess. Ah, yes, yes. I make it small, slightly. Yes. Here. You can see from here C1, right, which is a negative sign and also significant. Negative sign and also significant. Significant. Meaning that there is a long run causality. There is a long run causa causality running from running from cons and GDP, sorry, cons and export to GDP. So the C one is negative sign and also significant. Meaning that, meaning that there is a long run causality running from consumption and export to GDP. Meaning that, meaning that from here, from consumption, from consumption to and export to GDP. Why? Because the sign is negative and significant. Okay, and what about the short run causality? What happens there? Short run causality. So the, the first is I, I talk about decons. I talk about, about cons, right? That means uh, it is C4 and C5. So what should be our null hypothesis? Our null hypothesis whether C4 and C5 is 0 or not. That means it is C4 and C5. And here we shall use world statistics as before to check short run causality short to check short run causality okay okay so uh, so i go to view then i go to coefficient diagnostic wall test right wall test okay and what is our null c4 equal to c5 equal to 0 sorry 
that means they are jointly zero that is our null hypothesis right so i press okay so it is the result of wall test and it is the null hypothesis c4 c5 is zero and chi square value and what is the probability value the probability value is less than five percent so meaning that we can reject null hypothesis meaning that c4 and c5 jointly is not zero meaning that uh, meaning that uh, c4 and c5 meaning that uh, meaning what uh, what is our model meaning that uh, c4 c5 means what c4 c5 means i check from here c4 c5 means consumption right c4 and c5 you can see here c4 and c5 meaning that c4 and c5 not zero meaning that there is a short run causality running from consumption to to our dependent variable which is gdp right so there is a short run causality running from consumption to gdp okay then uh, then uh, then 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 our last variable export export is our last variable and you can see from here c6 and c7 right these are our two two uh, variable coefficient and and for export what is our null hypothesis c6 and c7 equal to 0 that is our null hypothesis that we have set right that is the null hypothesis we have set mm, okay so then i go to view as before co-option diagnostic wall test so i put uh, c6 equal to c7 equal to zero that is our null hypothesis c6 c7 zero and uh, the result is coming up okay it is the null hypothesis c6 c7 zero and chi squared the p value is very small less than five percent meaning that we can reject null hypothesis meaning that c6 and c7 jointly are not zero meaning that they are not zero meaning that there is a short run causality running from uh, export to gdp there is a short run causality running from export and gdp okay so what is the summary of the model what is the summary of the model now what is the summary the summary is a summary of the model sorry number one number one so summary there is a long run causality running from ex and cons to jdp there is a long run causality running from ex and cons to jdp and also also there is a short run causality running from ex and cons to 
GDP. So that is the summary of this model. Okay, now the third thing is whether the model is statistically all right or not. Statistically all right or not. So, so th that is the thing. Statistically f okay or not. So what is our model? This is our model, right? GDP is the dependent variable, right? So statistically all right or not. Okay, here the R squared is 61.39%. So, uh, so the value uh, R square I is not that low. At the same time, it is not that high, but we are happy about it. At least it is more than 60%. So we are happy about it. And the F statistics is significant. F statistics is significant. So we are happy about this model. Okay, uh, then what about the uh, test of residual? First I check about uh, serial correlations, right? Okay. okay, here this is observed R square. The p-value is very small, less than 5%, meaning that this model has serial correlation. So we are not happy about this model because this model got serial correlation. That is not desirable. Okay, then we check some more test residual diagnostic. We check the uh, test of heteroscedasticity. So I check it. Then uh, observed R square. The how much is the is the value of p? The p-value is 41.29%, 41.29%, meaning that more than 5%, meaning that we, we cannot reject null hypothesis, meaning that there is no heteroscedasticity in this model, and that is desirable, and that is desirable for this model because there is no heteroscedasticity. And finally, I check about the, the test of normality. Uh, so that is our third one, test of normality. You can see the Jarkabera statistics and corresponding p-value. How much is the p-value? It is p-value comes up, it is 88 point two four percent right which is more than five percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis so meaning that the, the residuals are normally distributed meaning that the residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable so in this model there is a only one problem in this model there is a only one problem and that is this model got serial correlation and that is not desirable this model got this model got serial correlation and that is not desirable and that is the only problem of this model